Nino, El Nino, man. It's, this is Memphis and it's very, very hot outside. It's very hot, very muggy. It's not a place I want to be walking around. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of chafing going on. I left the baby powder at home, so it's not working out for me today. You always forget to leave that baby powder when you come to the 90 degree humidity, right? Gotta bring it, man. I I don't want to borrow it either, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good sign. No. But let's just talk about Mayhem, man. How's it going? Just kind of give you an overview. Mayhem's been going great. Um, it's great to be out in this, uh, basically what's America's main summer festival. Uh, it's a good uh, chance for El Nino to come back out, um, tour the states. Uh, it's kind of a place where we, we got to work at, uh, you know, reestablishing the, the touring circuit, just like a lot of bands do, uh, we've been talking about that with our friends. That America's hard, you know. We, we're we're so spoiled here. We got all these great bands that come and tour, and you know, a lot of the times it's like you miss your favorite band this week. Well, your second favorite band's coming next week, so don't worry about it. You know, so we really gotta trudge and, and work hard and get our name out there and let everybody know, you know, that we got shows coming up. And we do everything we can. We're talking to the fans. You know, we're very very. Um, we interact with our fans a lot, personally. Uh, we, run, we run all our own social media, so being out here, you know, Mayhem has been a great help for us, you know, a lot for all these bands. You guys have been around for quite some time. Now, how have things changed when you first started to now? I mean, obviously social media and internet, but how, how have things changed specifically? I, I personally joined the band in 06, uh, and that was kind of like the start of really what turned out to be the social media game. And a lot of us didn't have any clue as to how it worked because it was, it was brand new at the time. Uh, and it started with MySpace, and you know that faded away. Now it's grown to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and you know what I've learned personally is you gotta be involved with what's going on in the moment and keep an eye to what's going on in the future. You know, there's a lot of uh, other sites out, Reverb Nation. You know that you know maybe some of us don't pay attention to it, but you know we gotta keep at least a you know a toe dipped in the water into each one of these avenues. Um, now, like I said, we're all, you know, interacting, we're the ones who run our own social media. Um, it's, it's important, we gotta do it, you know? Yeah. If, if we don't, you know, the, how many people do you know that don't have a Facebook? Right. You know, now it's like, you have to search for those people. And for some, some people it's like, I don't have a Facebook and I'm glad, you know? It's very few and far between that. We gotta be up, you know, with the times as far as what it is, you know? Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is. Yeah, kind of speaking of the times, Wes Borland, of course, from Limp Biscuit, tweeted something a while back. He said, in terms of the effect of you know, people that tell you they like every genre of music, he said they're, he finds they're typically not that interested or obsessed with music. Is that an accurate statement? I mean, he wasn't saying they don't like music, but... You know, I, I think that's that's pretty accurate. Um, you know, when I, when I was growing up, I found my favorite bands, and I, I followed everything they were doing, you know, and... I knew exactly where they were on what date. I knew all the the B sides on the albums. I knew you know where to get the demos or whatever the hell it was. And I, I feel like you know, just my opinion, it, it seems like that might be lacking these days, where fans aren't as excited or, or as enthralled as maybe younger genera or older generations were. Um, yeah, maybe someone says I like everything, really doesn't like much or has a very vague idea of what everything is. You know, I mean I. I could say I like everything, because I, I genuinely do. You know, I, I love everything from just classic rock to classical music, and I love, you know, death metal, black metal, and then I like jazz. You know, it's kind of, I vary by emotion. Black metal jazz. Black metal jazz, you know? <laughs> kind of by, like, my emotion at the time, or what I'm up to. You know, if I'm, if I'm at the gym, I'm not playing jazz. You know, if, I, if I'm, you know, hanging out with buddies, you know, I'm, I might be listening to some heavier music, and, you know, and I... I grew up in you know West Coast, and I'm from Santa Ana, California. And hip hop and rap was big for me growing up. You know, so I still like to listen to that stuff too. You know, I'm very open to whatever. Uh, you know, myself, I, I may not know some of the newer things, but I try. I, I try and find out, and if something catches my ear, I definitely go out and check out what it is. Yeah, you know, this day and age, there's a lot of bands coming on the scene. They're labeled quote unquote Christian bands, like your Red, your you know, of course, Head did his thing in Philly's and then Pod. Yeah. How do you how do you how's the Christian genre scene? Is it kind of mixed in just overall metal now? Or? I think it's mixed. I don't I don't I don't understand why some people have a problem with it. I mean, music should have a message. It doesn't matter what it's about. You know, if your message is about God and Christ, great. Music's supposed to be, as musicians, music's supposed to be what sets us free. It's supposed to be our form of art. 
you know so like i said it, it, if your your message is about god great if your message is about partying cool you know what it just depends and and also on that i don't feel like just because your someone's message might not be speaking to you we shouldn't put it down you know like it, it works vice versa in the in the christian rock and metal thing like you know maybe someone who's not into you know faith or religion puts them down but then the same thing happens to them someone who might not be into faith and religion the christian rock or metal person puts them down vice versa like we should just kind of like leave each other alone let us let each other be happy you know we're all artists you know uh, I, i'm not the kind of guy that really likes to pound someone over the head with a hammer with a message and you know it's all open for interpretation and it's for each person to find their own way you know how do you define christianity what how do I define Christianity? Well, I grew up Catholic. You know, I'm, I'm Mexican, so we grew up Catholic. Uh, so I went to a Catholic high school. So to me, Christianity would be just a belief in Christ as a savior. That would be my yeah. own opinion as to what it is, you know. Yeah, so if you were asked who is Jesus and you specifically say? I'd just say God. Right. Yeah. Our savior, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm sure he loves rock and roll, right? I mean, he's got, He's got it. He, I mean, if, hey, if we're made in God's image, you know, he's got to have a sense of humor. He's got to love rock and roll. You know, he shreds on that guitar and wails on the drum. I'm sure, you know. <laughs> hey, hey, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you very much. Absolutely, man. Thank you.